Hey guys, good morning. Almost afternoon. We're gonna be going into chapter two. Time in a bottle like a treasure. Looks like the hunt and race against time against Cheetor and Ultra Magnus. And I am gonna switch it up this time. Kind of pre-made this team before I started the video. And it's gonna be Soundwave, Hot Rod, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, Barricade, and Bone Crusher. That little trio there. And yeah, um, I think someone was right in one of my comments from the previous video. It gets pretty boring, you know, just blowing through everything super quickly. So a little bit of a challenge will go. It's yeah, <laughs> I should be using four stars, but nah, it'll take too long. And to be honest, I just want to get this over with as quickly as I can. So yeah, we'll we'll try some different teams here and there. Uh, time slide incoming. You better brace yourself. I can't imagine it will be pleasant. To be clear, this will be a transfer of our atoms as they are scattered to a new and par or parallel timeline. Affirmative. If we keep communication open, we should be able to sort out where you are. Maybe even track the events. I like my atoms exactly where they are. Tell me this trip won't chip my polish. For a guy who can see through, you sure care about your looks. If you only get a glimpse of me, it may as well be memorable. Event in three... Two, one. Good luck. All right, we are off to the races, guys. Exploring. Let's see. What is this Optimus on? He is on Power Flow. Okay, so we'll go down that lane. And depending on how long this one takes, if it takes long, I kind of want to push the video over 20 minutes. In the next mission, I might not do the hardest path. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how long this one takes. Uh, so yeah, power flow, and first up is Optimus, and we're going to use Soundwave. Someone had also sent me an email saying that they wanted a little bit more Soundwave gameplay, so I'll do this one, and then maybe I will do another video with Soundwave featuring him, going up against Mixmaster or something like that. But gotta keep an eye on the power. We need to avoid. specials and we'll go in for a special two and then i'm gonna save up for a special three guys to try to get the uh power lock going so let's step on the specials and i don't even know if i should i think i feel like if i went for a special three there i might have pushed them into a uh a special three. Oh yeah, I definitely would have. Oh my god, that actually pushed him into a special three. But he's stunned. Ah uh, man, I feel like I'm gonna end up eating a special here, maybe. Nope. Okay, we are good. We got safe. <laughs> Wait, hold up. No, no, no. It was yeah. He was able to do it because it didn't have the little lock. Um, icon. I was gonna say. Wait, the sound wave special three like lock the enemy special three no it, it doesn't i don't know i don't know what i was thinking i guess i'm i'm uh crazy today but okay okay let's go ahead and keep going we'll go ahead and use bone crusher against this bludgeon hopefully we don't eat a lot of damage from this bludgeon we're gonna have to be dodging a bunch of these specials so that's gonna kind of suck but we'll be okay never mind big damage coming out of bludgeon I'm not used to being forced to evade attacks anymore, guys. I'm so used to just, uh... I hate this mod, by the way. <laughs> Come on, bludgeon. You can use a special. You know you want to. Alright, guys. I feel like I might end up switching this lane. Or actually, no, never mind. It'll be fine. Specials. Mm. Alright, we're doing pretty terrible this morning. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's go for a quick special too. We can get a bunch of bleeds here. It kind of does reduce his power gain. 
Not by a lot, so let's see how the let's see how this goes. Ow. This is a special two. And come on. I picked the wrong lane to go down, guys. It's gonna be a lot of freaking waiting around. Uh oh. Well, I think I might end up dying here, so we'll just go ham. Mm. Never mind, okay, the game is being too generous, seriously. I feel like it definitely an alliance mission, this would have been a completely different story. I feel like in AM I would have definitely uh <laughs> eaten like a special three. So, oh man, that is the easiest lane. I don't want to go down the easiest one. So we'll go down, we'll fight the Sharkticon, and then further up, once it splits again, we'll see if I switch it over. Uh, but for now, let's go against this uh, Tactician Sharkticon. I guess bringing characters that could power leak, power drain on this lane would have actually been really, really good. But I did not scout ahead. Guys, this is terrible. <laughs> Seriously, man, I hate this freaking mod. Pushes him into a special so freaking fast. Oh, it's coming. There it is. Okay. I think we should be able to survive this, to be honest. Oh, yeah. It doesn't do that much damage. Oof, that kind of hurt. That was a pretty good hit. And there's the stun. And I'm gonna save up for a special three here, guys. And then after that, I think that should do it for the shark account. We're already at 30 impure charges. Be like 40 something, 44, plus an extra, what, 60? Yeah. Okay. Easy KO. We're good. Just sucks having to play around that um, the power bar. Uh, let's see. Sound wave. Okay. You know, we'll keep going. Screw it. We made it this far. Might as well, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, just continue on. And here we're going to switch it over to Barricade. Actually, using Barricade might not be a bad idea. Most of these, the Backfire procs, are going to be launching a bunch of specials. So if we can get a bunch of Backfires going, I feel like that would be uh, pretty damn good. So there's one Backfire. Soundwave is prone to use a special two as soon as he gets it. Uh, so I can expect him to use another one right here. There we go. And rinse and repeat. This one pretty freaking easy, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Alright, gotta watch out for that reflect. And. There we go. <clears throat> we caught him in the dash. We are good, guys. So, quick and easy win for Barricade. Of course, that one's super easy. And up next, we have MV1. Did did it happen? How do we know if we're us? You won't be changing bodies or anything like that. That's not how this time travel works. Apologies for not being an expert on quantum leaping time physics. You all read up on that? I'm learning as we go. Time isn't straightforward. It's kind of wibbly wobbly. The precise terminology is really putting us all at ease here. Oh god, okay. Uh, so enhance bleed. Okay, this one should be pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and give it to Soundwave. <clears throat> Let's see. So 
So don't get hit by this guy's uh, specials and we'll be good. <clears throat> I'm super curious to see how the uh, my Cheetor fight is going to go here in a bit. Cheetor is always a big pain in the butt. Special, yes we can. Keep spamming that special too. I don't think we'll be able to kill him though in one shot as soon as he drops to like that 20% mark. So I think uh, we'll just do this and then it's gonna trigger here in a bit. So I gotta be super careful not to get hit by anything. The melee buffs, man, they're scary. So is that special one, he's able to hit it. Alright, screw it, let's go for the special three. Kinda reset on the map, and this might end up doing it, maybe the shocks? No, 1%, but he is power locked and stunned, so there we go. <clears throat> Good job, Soundwave. Pretty easy win, and finally, 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 one more. One more of these power gain uh, battles, and we'll be good, guys. Let's see. I think I'm gonna use Hot Rod as my first uh, my first try against uh, that Cheetor. We're about 11 minutes in. Not too bad. Uh, I think we'll, we might end up just keep going with uh, with this team. All right. Get some heavies in. Hopefully the next one it isn't a freaking another power gaining mod on the, on the most difficult path. I hate those, man. Just because they take long. That's honestly the only reason. Big shock damage. Coming in. And, oops. Got caught there. Ouch. Well, I messed that one up. I feel like the Sharkicons are always going to be using their special three, so I'm going to Expecting a special three from this guy, maybe? Nope. All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> finishing off, finishing it off in style, guys, with that uh, sound wave special one animation after the KO. So we're good. All right, Cheetor, what do you got? What do you got for us, buddy? So the Deceptic Creeps have a new game, huh? Standing around looking like fallen Autobots. I do not fall. Folks fall uh, for me. Sorry, I thought that was a D for some reason. Uh, but that's only because they have good taste. And you, the one disguising yourself as a prime, that's truly a new low. Cheetor, I need you to trust me, I am Optimus Prime. I watched the primes get reduced to ash as Necrotronus rose up. Try again, chump. It seems this is a very close parallel timeline where the scientist's cage did not work. I gathered that, yes. I've been looking for a good meal since I went into hiding. Looks like prime imposter is on the menu. Enough with the timelines, kabam. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, let's see, physical resistance, increase power flow, crit rate. Oh boy, okay. Uh, one word, ew, disgusting, because this gear is gonna be, oh man, right off the freaking gates, man. Comes out swinging. Accelerated him, but I mean, that's not really gonna help much. I'm trying my best here, guys, just to avoid. I really don't want this guy to hit me with a freaking special. Or he's decelerated, but I mean. Doesn't matter. I really don't want him to get up for special three because that thing freaking hurts. Ow. Come on, use special ones so I can go for a special two. Ow. Not fun, not fun, not fun. I hate this Shiro, man.
Never get enough distance. Okay, there we go. Use a special one, please. From kind of afar. Alright, there we go. Just go for the special here. Decent damage. Got a nice little crit there, and this is stun. Region failed, but so close to special three men. I feel like if we get hit once. Uh, yeah, we're basically done. Then he'll get his special three, but if we can. There we go. Alright, we're good. We're good. Fight continues. Alright, I'm just gonna wing it here. Honestly, I don't think this is enough to kill. Yes, it is. Awesome. Alright, we got a crit. Nice. Everything was riding on the last hit, guys. If that was not a crit, I feel like we would have definitely not survived, but we survived. Yay. So we're good. We're good. So not too bad. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's actually back out really quick. I'm going to switch the team around a little bit. I'm going to switch the Revenge of the Fallen guys. Um, let's see. I'm going to switch out Bone Crusher, Barricade, and uh, Megatron. I wanted to play with Ironhide. I saw Ironhide earlier and I'm like, ooh, I haven't played with him in a, in a while. So we'll, we'll pick him up. And then we'll also pick up, uh, it is gonna be Ultra Magnus. That's the mini boss here. So should I bring OG Prime? Nah. Um, Starscream? Mm, yeah, I feel like he'd be good. And then we'll bring someone else from down here. But who? I don't know. Uh, all right, we'll just bring Grimlock in case we need someone to uh, <clears throat> to prevent debuffs. So okay, race against time. Yep, that's exactly how I feel right now. We're 17 minutes in. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry guys, my throat's a little dry this morning. Wow, that little cat had claws. <clears throat> I didn't think we would be seeing this many divergences. That does not bode well. It hardly seems we have a choice in the matter. We are being tossed about like playthings. The more time slides we do, the more I'll be able to find a way to track ideal ones. Maybe even find your you a way back home. Wait, we don't know how to get home? No, not at the moment. That's why, uh, that's why you need to keep moving. Good job, Marissa. You have uh, doomed us all. Let's see. All right. So the hardest path on this one, guys, it's going to be over here with the Mix Master, and it is Harness Power. So each bar power adds... Ex okay, so it should be pretty easy. It shouldn't be that bad, so... Yeah, this one should not require a lot of sidestepping, so hopefully this second mission goes by a lot more quickly than that first one did. Um, and yeah, we'll see how the rest of it plays out. But Soundwave, you are back up in the fight, <laughs> so see how uh, it goes with him. <clears throat> I don't even know if my sound wave is rank 5. I... Better heavy wins. Sound waves heavy will always win, man, no matter what. <laughs> I still, to this day, guys, I have so much trouble avoiding his, uh, his heavy. Like, if I'm fighting against, like, an AI sound wave, I, I don't know, man. I feel like I just, I've never learned to, like, dodge it. And I don't even, I don't even plan on learning. I just I just stay the hell away. I've tried too many times and it's like okay sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but I've given up hope. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's another heavy or another special two and just a quick three hit combo to finish it off and we are good. Continuing on we have a tech shark. Sharkticons are my kryptonite so. Uh, hot Rod will give this one to you. Land those crits, Hot Rod. I feel like if they buffed Hot Rod, he'd be actually like really freaking good. They increase like his crit damage or something like that. Something along those lines. Like if he has like over five crit buffs, like he gets like a crit damage buff. That'd be freaking nice. His damage would be freaking amazing. I'd probably end up using him a lot more than Drift. I don't know. There's something about crits, man. They look so, uh, I guess the gold... Uh-oh. I'm telling you guys, these freaking Sharkticons, I... 
I play terribly against them, I don't know. Alright. To be honest, I just completely forgot what this uh what the what the tech Sharkicon special was. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. Alright. That is all the damage I'm taking for this uh this mission. That was it guys, I promise you. It's I'm not gonna eat any more damage at all. You know, it's just not gonna happen. So we'll we'll see, we'll see. Alright. Star screen. He's gonna completely wreck this primal. rid of that armor buff and just start going ham on this guy. Go for a special two, get the arm double armor break, nice. That actually does a whole bunch of damage. That was a perfect. Yes, it was. So nice. Good job. Star screen, and we'll buy another one of these. I feel like I'm gonna end up running out of energon just by buying these uh, mission energy refills. I have a ton of energon. I'm not gonna run out. Never mind, guys. And up next, we have a warrior Sharkticon. We will give this one to good old Grimlock. Uh, Grimlock was one character that I did want to rank up someday but i never got the chance uh, there are other characters in my opinion that are slightly better um not necessarily at purifying i still think that grimlock you know he's good at purifying everything uh, but thundercracker is just in my opinion a whole lot better he's more reliable as far as like how you can get your melee buffs just by hitting the opponent with grimlock you have to eat a debuff which means of course eating damage which is mm, not a good thing course in this game, in any game basically, you just want to get hit as less as, as less as you possibly can. But overall, uh, his model is like freaking cool. I like this version of Grimlock that they have in the game. I wasn't really a fan of the Grimlock in um, Age of Extinction, in, like the Michael Bay films. Yeah, I didn't like them there at all. Classic is better. Alright, and Sight Swipe, mini boss. Okay, good thing we have Hot Rod, who is still alive <laughs> to fight against this, uh, this Sight Swipe here. Let's see, reveal yourselves, imposter, state your name and your function. Magnus, you know that no other bot could look as shiny and sensational as me. It's the one and only Mirage. Necrotronus. Necrotronus's wave of corruption is still powerful. You sound just like him. Ultra Magnus, we are your fellow Autobots, sent from a timeline that is shattering apart and overlapping with yours and countless others. The quintessence scientists trapped the titan-fused Megatronus in a time cage and the resulting corruption is responsible for us stepping out of time. The real Optimus would have been able to come up with a better lie than that. He's not wrong, he really could have made something up anything else that sounded more reasonable. Let's not believe a prime, of course. Uh, so stagger, super easy. So I think, yeah, we should be fine. Don't get hit by the heavies and we'll be fine. And if we can land a deceleration, this will really help us out. But in the meantime, what I like to do against Sideswipe is just kind of let him power gain and then just let him launch a special so much better than uh, yeah, fighting him and then you know, he ends up getting a special 3 right off the bat. Never a worse feeling than that. So he's decelerated. Doing pretty good so far. Decelerate again. Alright. Next combo should be enough. And yep. This is gonna do it guys, I can feel it. Yep, 10,000 damage again. 
feels like almost 20k in total, so pretty good. Rhinox. Do we have a shield breaker? We do not. But, but, we do have a clumsy dino, so we'll go ahead and use a Grimlock for this one. The Purifying should come in handy. If we end up beating some shock or bleed damage, we'll be fine, so. You know what? It would actually be really cool if, like, for Grimlock, they extended the duration of, like, his melee buffs, or if he actually, it'd be even better if, like, he actually kept them for, like, the entire duration of the fight. That'd be pretty freaking awesome, but... No, the band's like, no, nah, he'd be way too OP then, I'm sure. Right. The cool thing is though, you know, when you go for the heavy, uh, when you're mid-transformation, during your transformation phase, you don't end up eating any damage. So that's actually pretty good. And here we'll go for a special three, get the nom nom, chomp chomp, in, uh, do some decent damage. And yeah, heavy here. Alright. I think I might have been Okay, so we did. We got hit there, but we didn't take any damage. Keep him refreshed. Yes, we're good. Okay, that's fine. Hit me. Go for the Barney Slam. Yes, there it is. Finishing it off in style, boys. So we're good. Good job, Grimlock. Eight a ton of damage, and that's the unfortunate thing, of course. Getting those melee buffs, and then, you know, you have to eat a bunch of damage. Either you get hit, or you eat some uh, some debuff ticks here and there. Uh, let's see. I function only to protect what little family I have left. This trickery and torment will not stand in our way. My spark aches for you, friend. I cannot imagine the horrors you have been put through. If you stop here, if you push no further, we can perhaps find a reasonable solution. Optimus, you can't stop. You need to get off this timeline immediately. We are stuck with an immovable object and an unstoppable force. So it would seem quite well. This will be settled one way or another. Dang. Okay, Ultra Magnus. Uh, so harness power, ranged shock, and melee damage. So... This mission was pretty easy, so Ironhide, I think with the special two we should be able to kill him if we can get the signature proc. Ooh, heavy versus heavy, missiles versus missiles, let's go. Ow. Alright, do I want to go for the heavy spam? I could, but I think it's too cheesy to go for like the heavy spam. In the meantime, I'll just keep eating a bunch of shock damage. <laughs> Those freaking range hits. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Alright, this should push me into a special two, so... Alright, crit damage buff, but no proc, unfortunately. guys so we tore him apart at the end so not bad uh, pretty good run through I think with some characters we don't normally see uh, let me if, let me know if you guys want me to go down <clears throat> chapter 3 with like a similar team that way I don't keep bringing my rank 5 fully forged characters and we just blow through everything super quickly um, yeah or let me know if you guys you know have any characters in mind that you want me to use uh, but looks like in chapter 3, and I'll do this video probably later tonight, um, Eternity passes Big Brain Time <laughs> Big Brain Time, and Hu King. So, Grimlock and Ironhide, yeah, we'll be fighting them in chapter 3. So, thanks for watching guys, hopefully you guys are having a good day, and I will see you all later today.